Hello everyone and welcome to your Wednesday night uh, video critique. So I'm going to take you guys through a few images here and talk about uh, talk about what we got going on from the day. So first off, I want to talk to Donica about your uh, problem with the black pupil. And the one thing I would encourage you to check is the, uh, it looks to me like it's uh, rendering black, but with a super reflective surface. So my guess is that you might have an HDR image uh, around the the around the character, and it might actually be reflecting that because the pupil is picking up, um, like the 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 texture is being picked up. Like I can see that the iris is working. I can see that there's um, a black pupil there, a little bit like around the edge. But it, it just looks like it's getting some super reflective thing. I might be totally wrong on that. But the way that you want to try and problem solve that is to uh, first off, check the geometry, check to make sure that it's actually being applied to the right thing, that there's not like um, a, a separate piece of, of pupil geometry where you need to assign a black shader to that. Um, if that seems to be working out okay, then I would just assign like a, uh, a regular... Uh, render man shader to it that is just like a, a, a blue color uh, with some specularity and some value just to make sure that that's working okay and then slowly start to build it up and then like make the entire shader black and then just make a very simple um, checkerboard shader or try a couple other things um, you know like because basically what you've done is you've like gone to the most complex thing first which is of course what you're going to do which is assigning the texture to the shader, which is like the final texture. Uh, but if that breaks, we need to start peeling back the layers a little bit and doing adding things one by one and seeing where the thing breaks down. But first off, I just want to make sure that there isn't something off camera that's reflecting in the pupil. Um, and then you can you can go through those other steps. So now I kind of want to take a look at uh, some other images that we've got going on here. Um, so I'll start with Nicholas. Uh, Nicholas, this is a very... Uh, so I, 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 I'm so dumb. I looked at your image and I was like, man, you really nailed the hand. That hand looks, and I was like, wait, wait a second. That's still the hand from the plate. And then I, cause I always check, I always look at the image before I actually check the things that you guys write, which is probably bad. But, um, uh, I always look at the image first. Then I read, I was like, oh, he's still painting it out. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So for your character, I think that there are the, the, the biggest thing that's standing out to me is the warmth around the eyes is not matching your uh shadows around the eyes and like if there's a little ambient occlusion uh it's coming in as being very dark but not very warm and if you look at him like he's not getting a lot of super dark values uh in 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 his ocular area like right around his eyes but what he is getting is darkening but that it's also a little bit of redness so there's just more warmth in there and then uh in some of his like like let's just kind of zoom in here on his eyes um like so just like right around here especially like in here and up around here uh and over here we're seeing a lot of redness where if you look at yours it's it's not like it like this is darker um this line here is darker and it's not it's not as soft and it's not as red as the other one um as the the reference here um you'd also get his teeth to be a little bit brighter but i think that you were having problems with his teeth before so i don't want to push that too much um, and then in terms of, there's also a little bit, well, the contour on the side of his cheek that isn't there is, is, is part of the read on him. Um, and also the angle of the head is going to be a little bit different. And then a little bit less, um, in the shadow in here. Like a little bit lifted more would be good, but I don't think you're as far off as you think you are. Um, I think that I think this is actually coming along really, really nicely, and I think that you've got some really cool elements. I think his eyes look really nice. I think they're nice and like his his irises and the pupil and the eye thing. I think those are great. Um, it's just a matter of dialing in some of these other values and then just making sure that because it's also his his face is a little bit brighter than it is than if you go back. Um, and I, I would just kind of create a little bit more uh, darkening kind of back in there on his part of the head. But I think that you're, um, 
I think that you're off to a good start. And I think that this is in a good place. I think I think you're being a little bit too hard on yourself, is what I'm saying. But you're you're doing okay. I mean, the, but the hand, my God, that hand matches perfectly. Great job with that. All right, so Mauro, uh, we've I, I brought in your uh, reference here, and I wanted to pull this back. So I was looking at the reference um, again, and there's uh, a couple things that we can do. Uh, number one, I really like uh, how we are reading a little bit of like redness underneath the cloak and it would be kind of fun maybe to try getting that in in yours as well and just trying to get like a little bit of color in there uh just just to match up with your reference i think that would look really well um the other thing and i know what i'm about to say does not match the reference but i almost want this these god rays to be moved up a little bit so that they're instead of shining here to here because that's just kind of focus in the eye down here i want to scoot that up so the the focus is more up here and it's more like in that region so um i would do that and then i, I would also broaden it out so like you have this but i would allow a little bit more light fog to extend out from it because what that'll do it'll that will lift these dark values back here and it'll allow him to pop forward a little bit. So the way that this haze is kind of lightening the dark values over here, you can use this blue light to soften um, some of those dark values as well. And then, yeah, I think I think the I think uh, the other thing is 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 this part of his head. While nice is getting a little bit. Uh, too warm. I would pull back a little bit on the saturation on that. Um, I'm just going to do that now so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So if you pull back a little bit on like these values so they're kind of back in here, I think that'll help out a lot. And then uh, two things on this. Keep pushing yourself to ensure, because I feel like this street lamp is back behind him a little bit more and then uh, I'm, I'm totally fine with this amount of light hitting his face. I would just like to see a little bit more rim on this side, if you can. And uh, I think that'll help out a lot. And then maybe like down this as well. Just because just again, like playing it up with the lights from behind. I can buy that it's kind of creeping over his face here um, and hitting up this stuff. I just want to see a little bit more rim light from back behind. Uh, I would like to see the cane a little bit more if possible. Um, that's a, like a CBB note. And other than that, I think I think you're I think you're doing pretty well. Uh, it would be nice if the hat got a little bit darker and its core value. Some of these, um, some of the interior values are getting a little bit lifted by the light. I like the specular highlights, but I want the core value to go down a little bit more. Um, but I think you're I think you're doing well there. Uh, Louise. Really, like this one's looking really nice. I, I like what you've done with the god rays. I think I think you can even possibly warm those up just a slight, tiny, tiny bit more. Uh, you took down some of those bright areas. The trees are looking nice. Um, yeah, the only the only thing is I think that you might be able to go a little brighter on the tent overall. Um, try the mocking that up, and then I think you can probably call this one done, and then just making sure that you get a nice. Um, high res image out of it because I think a little bit more along that value. Yeah, and then I think you could probably go ahead and call this one done. Cause I think I think I think it worked out. I think it came together really nicely. Um and then maybe, you know, I'm just realizing this. Let's see, just, just for the heck of it, try getting some stronger key light hits on some patches back here in the distant background and up over here. Cause like some of this stuff is getting a little bit dark. Try just, just, just for the heck of it, especially on this hill, just try getting a patch of key variation in there. Cause that might be flattening out just a little bit, just to see if that, that helps build the scale. Um, and if you hate it, you don't even have to show it, but I think I think that might help create some more uh, depth to the, to the image overall. And lastly, we've got Tyler and your reference here. Um, very cool stuff. 
uh, the the one thing. So a lot of this reference is uh, it's very different than each other. I think it's I think it's a good start, but I would I think it's a great exploration. But I think you're at the point now where you can probably kind of zone in on one of them, um, because there are a few things like the the redness of the sky doesn't quite align with any of these. So I would like to uh, like you know if you're using let's say this one up here, you know it'd be nice to have a little bit of the the sun up there, like you know if the sun's here to kind of allow that area to get a little brighter, but then lose some of the saturation. Um, overall. There's uh, a few things going on. Um, you know, the the specularity on these plants really stands out to me. They, they look very metallic. Um, I would tone those down. Um, the shadows are getting very heavy at times and with the light kind of bouncing around this space. So if you look at all your reference here, um, just close this one. You know, like in here, you see a lot of value in the shadows you see a lot of value in the shadows here even this one's a little bit darker you're not kind of even like this one too where we're in the shadows you know you're seeing more here with this like a lot of these areas you're kind of losing it and especially back in here um in the far background there you're kind of losing a lot um but i would really kind of zero in on the reference and some of the things that you're looking for sky color key color um, it, it, it would be odd if this light was a fluorescent or blue tinted light. Usually those are, are kind of warmer tinted. Um, some of these windows, like I can't tell if this is a reflection or if that is a light from behind the window. Uh, same thing with this one. If it's light from behind, I would throw some like cubes or just some basic geometry in here to kind of break that up. So it's like there's furniture or something in the room. Um... And then, yeah, pull back on the God rays for now, like the, this volumetric light kind of coming through here. Just pull back on that for now, just so we can get the base lighting. And I, I love the idea of it, and I love the idea of getting that for the final image. But, um, but I think that it's kind of muddying the image right now because there's some things that we need to figure out first before we start adding some bells and whistles like that. Uh, but this is, a, this is a good first stab at it. Um, if you want... I would, so for the next iteration, I would recommend zeroing on one reference, finding your background plate, and then just going with a key light and a skylight, and we'll, we'll reevaluate from there. Uh, don't worry about like these interior lights and, and this for now. We'll see where those line up, and then we'll make decisions about what additional lights to add based on how the composition is starting to hold up. So uh, that would be my advice there. All right, so if you all have any questions, make sure you fire away, and I will look forward to seeing what you got tomorrow. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Happy lighting.